Chapter 3, Lesson 2 is on page 123 and 124 for homework. We're working on the multiplication property of equality today. Just like we did yesterday with the addition and subtraction property of equality, we can do the same thing with the multiplication. We can either multiply or divide both sides of an equation by the same thing. So, so far we can add something to the left side, add the same thing to the right. Subtract something from the left, subtract exactly the same thing to the right. We can multiply and we can divide both sides of the equation by exactly the same thing. Number 45 says 6a plus 6b is 72 and somehow we're going to get from that equation to this equation that has a plus b is equal to question mark and we've got to figure out what this question mark is and kind of justify our answer. Staring at this for just a second we have 6a and yet that 6a became just an a Somehow we got 6 times a, and we made that divide, we made that disappear, that a. I think one strategy might be to divide this by 6, divide this by 6, divide that by 6. Remember, when we're doing these equations, if we divide everything on one side by 6, we better do the same thing to the other side. So let's see if we can rewrite this. We have 6a, oops, let's back up. We have 6a over 6 plus 6b over 6 is equal to 72. Oops, I never finished that over there. Over 6. I think I can cancel. Cancel. And 72 divided by 6, I think, is uh, maybe 12. Is that right? 6 times 2, yeah. So let's see what we got. So we have 6 divided by 6 is 1 over 1. So I have a plus b turns out to be equal to 12. So I think we solved what our question mark was. We were looking for what would that question mark be. The answer turns out to be 12. And we can justify it by looking at this and saying if we were to go backwards, and rewrite this equation, a plus b is equal to 12. And if we were to multiply this side by 6, then we'd have to multiply this side by 6, and we'd end up with 6a plus 6b is equal to 72. And we did that because we did back to chapter 1 in our distribution. We used our wacky arrows, and we ended up with what we started, 6a plus 6b is equal to 72. Let's try number 51. Let's solve this one for x. This looks very confusing. But let's rewrite this a little more simply. c times x is equal to a squared plus 1. Well, if I want the x to be by itself and it's multiplied by c, the opposite of multiplication is division. So let's multiply this side by c. And if we do that, we better multiply this side by c. So then I think we can make these two things cancel out as 1 over 1. So we end up with, on the left side, 1 times x is x. x divided by 1 is just plain old x. So x turns out to be, as confusing as this looks, a squared plus 1, all that, divided by c. So there's our final answer. x is equal to a squared plus 1. That whole thing, if it helps you, divided by C. That's it for today. We'll see you all tomorrow.